Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Conor McGregor and John Jones. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 -hit. And you see a guy in striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. All right, early round one here, big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. Outstanding knee to body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so well. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Big kick lands. Oh, do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Look at how he turns his hip in his head like Back and forth we go here! So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Liver kick. Oh! Oh! This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his attack. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. This is a great fight. Oh! How good is that right hand? all about that left kick to the body. Hook is there again. Oh, straight right. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Nice leg kick land. Gregor's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Round two winding down. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go with our second round now. Conor McGregor and John Jones. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. Here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be on the land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. So 42 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Well, not the greatest land percentage necessarily. 37% the accuracy thus far. Set the blow right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. 
and it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out the space. Find the exactly. strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. Oh, he didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. McGregor's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. One minute to go in the round. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Third round underway. Looks like his leg is mostly limping a little bit. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. And he hasn't really showed any signs slowing down. Oh! Conor McGregor gets up again here, but he looks hurt. the tape, he has a reach advantage, and that'll do it! Unbelievable! <laughs> well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career.